you know, we like I said, we didn't have the resources, you know, and we were fighting to almost, you know, have people like that speaking, you know, life into us and skills into us and, you know, spirit into us as much, so. And these young guys, they know who you are, they... They followed you, and are they starstruck? Look, a, a few of them do, a few of them do, some of them don't, but they're learning quickly, so... But I'll tell you what they will do. The guys who didn't know who you were before are going to go away now, and they'll be looking at highlights on YouTube and going, wow. Absolutely, yeah. you know, exactly. That's the, that's the blessing, you know, you're always, always reaching new audiences and inspiring new people all yeah. the time. Yep. And that's, uh, I mean, Andy Sauer there, our referee, um... He's around the world all the time, teaching, giving seminars. Um, and yourself, you, you're everywhere, here, there, and everywhere. I'm everywhere, exactly. It's uh, pretty much Carnage Global at the moment. So Carnage <laughs> Global, I love it. Living the dream, Living. doing what you love, and loving what you do. That's exactly it. And here we, right now, uh, in, the, in the commentary box. So here we go, the third fight of the evening, under 70 kilograms, Alex Rodriguez from Spain, fighting Dragomir Petrov, from Bulgaria. Petrov has to be a local favourite. Um, he's fought here eight times previously on Senshi and has a record of seven wins and one loss. Two of his wins were come by way of knockout. And Rodriguez from Spain, he's making his debut on Senshi tonight. So he's got something to prove and Petrov has got something to hold on to. Yeah, that always makes an exciting fight when that happens, when someone has something to prove. And, uh, of course, you know, then the, the local has to, uh, to stamp his authority. Yes. And it, when you come here, I think there's uh, two, you've got two options. You can be blinded by the lights. The setup is fantastic. We're going out all around the world on, on um, Fight TV, all across Bulgaria on two, two of the biggest uh, TV stations. And these guys, this show pays well, I can tell you that. This is somewhere where people want to fight on. So Petrov... Wants to do a good job. Sorry, Rodriguez wants to do a good job, show his skills, showcase that he's an entertainer, so that he gets invited back. Yeah, that's it. Well, they're, they're both they're both you know even round right now so far. Dishing dishing it out back and forth. Great boxing combinations from both lads here tonight. There's a beautiful one to step up knee, eats a cross. Yeah, that little combination there, and he just took his head back to avoid the counter. Yeah, you can see when he goes in for the uppercut body shot, you know, they've got really good boxing skills, both of them, and they're looking for that counter hook on any kind of body shot exchange. Alex Rodriguez here from Spain with the red gloves and black shorts. Dragomir Petrov, the Bulgarian favourite in the Bulgarian shorts with the blue gloves. Yeah, nice, oh, beautiful combination, locks it up. And he's going to break him up. There's only a couple second clinch rule here. You, you can, uh, can't hold on for too long in this under this rule set. Yeah, I found that quite interesting. They, they can uh, clinch and land one knee strike, but they're still allowed to hold for five seconds. Um, yeah, they want the maximum. You ooh, know. there was a cheeky little elbow there. Whoop! He's knocked him down. Yeah, nice little cross right on the button. He, he, he said it didn't hurt him. So, you know, basically the referee didn't even give him an eight count. He said, okay, no worries, you're right, fight on. No eight count on that drop, which was good. Yeah, I think he was off balance. It wasn't a, a, a true knockdown. And that's the experience of Andy, you know, having an experienced fighter in there calling the shots. He knows it's, if it's a real shot or not. So yep. that's, it saved him the round, possibly, from an eight ten round. Beautiful head kick into the knee strike. And like you say, an 8-10 round in that first round means you've got to get two rounds back. Yeah, that's right. You know, and, we're only, and they're only fighting three rounds, you know. So if you lose that first round, you, know, you haven't got far to come back. Of course, in a five-round fight, you know, you might have four more rounds. But in a three-round matchup, you don't want to be losing too many of those rounds. And I think, you know, when, we, when they switch to three rounds, they don't want the fight to go the distance. They no. want it to be finished. No, that's it. You know, so don't whole, try and win on points. Yeah, the whole three round, you know, the whole three round rule set up was to create, you know, more action, more speed, more fast, you know, to uh, demand more fast starters than you know slow starters that might waste one or two rounds. It's for TV, it's for the audience, it's for pure action, and that's the purpose of the three round fights. Yeah, and the the traditional Muay Thai kickboxing, it, they, they say that it's not real Muay Thai unless it's five rounds. But when you go to Thailand and watch these five-round fights, the first two or three rounds, they're not doing anything. They're just setting up the gamblers. 
That's right. That's gamble. right. They want to get into that third, fourth round, the money third round, fourth the fourth round. round. The money rounds, yeah. yeah. So at the end of our first round, the beginning of our second round, I think on my card I have Petrov slightly ahead. His yeah, boxing is crisp. Yeah, crisp as. Got that beautiful range as well. Little clash of heads there on the inside, but no damage done. Head kicks. Beautiful cross counter. He's, he's finding his range beautifully now, just slipping in, jump knee. And that was a nice, he threw a straight right and then he was going for that liver shot. Yeah, you're right. He's got his range, hasn't he? He's, yeah. Uh, he just, you know, that's it. He's first round, settled himself in, found himself perfectly. He's throwing those head kicks nice too from range. There it was, but missed him. <laughs> Almost took himself out. And the last punch of a combination should be the power punch. And that, that there, he threw three punches on the last left hand. Boom. Landed on target. Yeah, Petro was all action in this round. Goes for the big spinning back fist. Drives it through with a cross. Once again, Rodriguez off balance, but it was the punch that sort of knocked him over. Didn't knock him down, but knocked him over. Yeah, tight defense as well there. Boom, there's that knee to that spinning back fist. So that would be normally be a spinning elbow in the, in the earlier matches. We had one tie fight. We, we started the show off with one full rules. This is the, the K1 kickboxing. Uh, he's like, he's... The, uh, the w, w, KWU rule contact. He's got his eye on that spinning back fist. There we go again. Yeah, it's a surprising shot. You know, you don't really sort of see it coming. It sort of blind spots people. All of a sudden it whips around. It's got a lot of force and power. Yeah, I think when someone's... If you're fighting, someone spins in front of you almost... For half a second, you think, what are they doing? Yeah, a little hesitation. Yeah. There's that liver shot again. Oh, solid combination from Petrov. And they're all one, two, with power. Yeah, all with power. One, two, three, and then finishes with that knee to the body. He's sharp. He, he missed that kick and was instantly back into where he needed to be. Yeah, see that defense as well? He just sits comfortably behind his guard and then unloads back. Picks his shots well, upstairs, downstairs, hits the inside leg kick. Then goes for that either that knee to the body or that kick. And those body shots. Time. End of the second round. Those body shots, they're starting to mark up Rodriguez uh, just below his right ribs. And they take their tolls. A, a single body shot doesn't necessarily have to dr uh, drop you. But over the course of a couple of rounds, they, they definitely wear you down. Oh, yeah, just absolutely breaks the, breaks the body down. And even when, you, even when you're guarding, you know, and you, you're catching it on the, on the arm, you know, the, the arm is still pushing into the ribcage, especially with those big body kicks as well. Yeah, and I, I think that it's, uh, it's underestimated. When someone's punching against your guard or kicking against your guard, it's still having some effect. It's having some effect for sure. And if, the, if he's been... You know, being rocked before or being hit clean before that, they all add up. Well, looking at that knockdown again, that knock over, he didn't get a count. We're not going to see it again. I'm not sure if it wasn't a, a yeah, knockdown. You see that defense right there, then just pushes him off, and then he unloads himself. Big combinations. One, two, three, upstairs, downstairs, inside leg kick. So, I would give it Dragomir Petrov as we come out into the third and final round. He's ahead. Two rounds to nothing on my cards. Rodrigo's with it all to do. His corner should have given him a sharp pep talk in between the rounds there and G'd him up. Yeah, well, he's going to have to get a knockout to get the win, and that's possible still. It's a fighter's chance always. He's definitely still in the fight. Well, he's not taking too much backward steps. You know, he'll go back if he has to, but he's still in the fight, like I said. Standing there trading. And he hasn't dropped his head. He still, uh, no. he still wants it. There you go. Yep. Let's go, brother. Pushes him off. Knee again to the head. Jump knee up. 
Just got caught tangled in the clinch. I mean, he could, uh, he could have had the option that Petrov was going to tire himself out, but I don't think that's going to happen with two minutes to go in the third and final round. Yeah, you can see Petrov is just using his range perfectly, sitting on that long cross, then setting oh. up that liver shot. Slips inside. You watch here, he'll go for the outside, and he'll look for that body. Oh, nice combination. Here he goes. Push out. There's a counter left hook coming from Rodriguez now every now and again, which is uh, just getting through. Yeah, there it was there. Nice one too. Double hook. Mr. Sauer separating halfway. them, get the action going. Yeah, halfway through the last round here. Pops the head kick up. And it's been constant action from the opening bell. A little... Uh, Little one downstairs there to the Bulgarian Petrov. Minute to go then. Rodriguez has got to change up two gears and do some yeah, damage. He's got to really try and see if he can catch that hook. There it was. Yes. <laughs> That's the exact punch he needs. And it's still dangerous. It's super dangerous. He's got to snap on it, speed on it, he whips it out. And if you can catch him in the middle of a combination like that. That's his chance. He knows he's got it all to do now. We're approaching 30 seconds of the third and final round. Could he go on a suicide mission and say, right, let's go. Let's stand here and throw down. Yes. There it is. There it is. It'll be a big turnaround. It'll be a big victory for him. Like you said, he's showcasing himself tonight, trying to make a bit of a name for himself here. And you know what? This is what I like to see. Even though uh, Petrov has dominated the action, He's going to win the fight, I'm sure, with just 15 seconds to go. But Rodriguez has shown real heart and hasn't taken a backward step right up until the, the final bell. Exactly. So fair play to him. Yeah, and that's what the, the matchmakers, the promoters, the fans will be looking at. We're going, OK, he didn't win the fight, but he was in the fight still and he wanted to fight. And he's still, he's still fighting. Right down in the last second. Boom. Fantastic. Great heart there from Alex Rodriguez from Spain. But outmatched by Dragomir Petrov from Bulgaria who has fought on Senshi that Senshi now. This will be his ninth fight here. Fantastic boxing, crisp combinations, upstairs and downstairs. And I think three rounds to nothing on my cards. Another win for Dragomir Petrov from Bulgaria. So as we wait for the decision from the judges, it's a beautiful slow motion replays there. Yeah. Camera crew doing a great job tonight catching the action. Look at that slip, double hook. There's that left hook, yep. See, they both went for the hook. That's a, re a real common, famous, you know, double knockout strike where both people <laughs> launch yep. the hook and, you know, two boxes go down. And you can see in these replays that even though Rodriguez was getting caught, and the gentlemen, look of determination on his face didn't waver. After no, three rounds of fighting, we have a Loves winner. It. Judge 1 scored the fight 29, 28, 30. Judge 2 scores the fight 27, 30. Judge 3 scores the fight 27, 30 for the winner in the blue corner. There we Bulgaria. have it. Bulgaria wins. The crowd are the very happy about that. By Sensei Yam Sokup, Czech Samurai. Which is what you'd expect here. In the incredible city of Varna in Bulgaria. The sun's been shining all day. It's been an absolutely fantastic weekend of martial arts. Seminars from legends of the sport. Nathan Corbett, Andy Sauer and Albert Kraus. And also a legend of Kaikashen Karate, uh, Jan Sukup. This is, a, a, I mean, the refereeing here is star-studded, let alone anything else. But this is a show put together by martial artists, for martial artists. Honor, respect, and glory is what it's all about. Yeah, no. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's exactly right. You know, that's the, the great thing about this promotion. You know, they're really promoting, you know, the honorable, honorable, respectful martial arts fighter. But at the same time, they want the, they want the gentlemen to go in there. They want them to bang hard. They want them to fight like anything else, and at the end of the day, it's all done and that's it. There's no smack talk, there's no need for any kind of trash talking. 
this is this is like the Adam, you know, the, the epitome of like high level martial arts, respectful, honourable fighting, and that's yep. what this so such good about this event. And it's been shown, you know, of course, with all the with the karate senseis here, with the martial arts, you know, involved, the kickboxers, the Thai boxers, the MMA fighters, everyone, you know, is really in for the whole journey to, you know, ultimately become a champion for themselves.